when adding a device we need to first understand on the Luna appliance what we need to enable and what needs to be set up so on the Luna there is a web server service that is running we can check currently it is disabled you will see the rest API service and package that's installed which version as well as the IP address it's bound to the port and the certificate so there are several options that need to be configured beforehand for one uh, the certificate itself we want to generate a new one in this case we'll use an RSA 2048 key you will see the signature and the publicly info of this self-signed certificate in this case the CN is the Luna's uh, host name anytime you do any of these changes on the network side and the service you'll have to restart it so currently you can still see it's disabled the status is not running I will make sure that uh, we enable it As well, a lot of a common mistake is configuring which port and IP it's going to be bound onto. So I'll bind it to ETH uh, zero. The port will be eight four four three, the default. Let's restart the web server. Right, so we're we know this is the IP address. We have a certificate generated. We know the port. We know that everything is up and running. I go to CCC. We're gonna add a new device. This device name is what's stored in the CCC database. It doesn't have to be exactly the same host name or anything along those lines. Give it a description, and this is that REST API network information. The host address as well as the default port number I use and the admin credentials. So REST API and how CC operates is it connects using an admin level role. So I'm going to use the default here to log in. It must have, be in the admin account or admin level role if it is indeed listening correctly on the REST API uh, web server here. You should see that it should pull up that certificate we generated verified is the correct one we're going to add that to the trust store for future connections there is a device pool do i need to add it into it is optional so if we have a large amount of devices as i mentioned in the previous presentation you can uh, add it so i have to amia dc you'll see a summary uh what type of device version it is and uh, in this case it's a luna 7 password hsm After that is done, the device will be added, but you still need to authorize it. You can do it immediately or you can wait. So we'll talk about authorization, what that entails, and then show you how to authorize a password authenticated Luna and a pet authenticated Luna. But you'll see for my newly added device, you'll see the appliance version and the firmware version, serial number, the connection information, which could be updated later on. You can see the certificate that we generated which device pool it's part of, if it has been authorized, as well as the different capabilities. You can see the performance level is enterprise level performance. It's a uh, cloning uh, based Luna, which in this case is not a big deal because the Luna 7 supports both key export and cloning on a per partition basis versus on Luna 6, you were locked in from the factory. Per partition SO, this as well for Luna 7 is the default now. So every partition has a partition security officer, a crypto officer, and crypto user. We could use ST, uh, STC, and the FM in this case is disabled. There are no services right now. Uh, there is no partitions that I have set up to manage or provisioned or imported. So this will be blank.